A story a day keeps the worry away and the joke too. So on the web you have stories and jokes and <coughs> sneezing, sexy stories. Just and uh, we have all what we need, what we greed. And one seed turns the whole earth green. But I love to talk, just to discharge. And there I have a story now. A rich man and his son. A wealthy man and his son loved to collect, you know, rare works of art. Paintings and beautiful things like this. That and the son went to war. Vietnam. And didn't come back. So, what to do? He kept looking at all these pictures. And this is my son, and this is my son. And let thy will be done. And now, the old man died. And he left a will. And the lawyer came. And all the rich people, they came to buy, you know, the most expensive paintings and arts and and there is one of the paintings that it's not that expensive it's done by a man who was nearby the sun when he was dying and he was dying and this man was his friend just being with him and he told him you know what to do with his dad and tell my dad that this is the last best painting that I'm leaving my body going home and he went to war not to kill just to heal people he was a medical man and he healed many kids and moms that they were not American they were not enemies they were just human beings brothers and sisters so the son died and the friend what to do what to tell his dad he just took the brush and painted the face of the son when he was leaving and he went to his father and he said I am John friend of your son Joseph and this is the story and they have nothing to share only this one and he looked it's amazing like the son is talking to his dad how much? he said no he paid already it's beyond his love is beyond money and I just want to share this with you and the father started looking at this all the time and talking with his son and died and left away the lawyer came and he said first of all we have to sell this picture and then the others this picture it's done by his friend no signature no rich uh, artist, famous artist, nobody. Okay, someone who said five dollars, seven. And then the cook came, the maid. And she said, I have twenty dollars. I love this son as my son. I was here when he was a baby. And I took care of him. He's still alive in my heart, in my life. I have twenty dollars. Okay, let her buy this. We are interested in all this, you know, rich palace and whatever they have. And okay, the lawyer said, now it's time to read the will of this rich man. And he opened 
and he said, whoever buys the picture of my son, give him all the palace with all the paintings. And the old lady looked and said, if you do what you love, money will follow. And this home will be for all the poor people in the pocket and the rich in the heart. Come and live here. Live peacefully. And live peacefully. And now it's one of the best hospices on the planet. You go there. If you have money, if you don't have, just be there. And money will come. Many rich people came there. And all the people that they work in this hospice volunteer. I work there. Cook and clean and take care of the people. And this is what love is. And the one that is still taking care of this is the loving group that is by Osho and the macrobiotics.